Um, so good morning, everyone. My name is Tal Kreisler. I'm the CEO of No Traffic. Um, excited to be here today. And at No Traffic, uh, we developed a mobility platform that transformed traffic lights into cloud-connected and dynamic networks with the goal of improving efficiency, safety, sustainability, and also to enable a variety of advanced mobility applications. Uh, a journey started back in 2017, currently 110 employees. Uh, we have some of the most brilliant minds uh, out there. Uh, backed by $75 million from amazing investors, some of them actually based here just around the corner. And we currently deploy in hundreds of uh, departments of transportation, mainly in North America. So I want to take you uh, for a minute to a quick journey where, when it all started. Going back to 2017, the entire mobility revolution kind of started back then, and suddenly we had so many different types of mobility that had to coexist and share the same resources from public transportation to emergency vehicles, micromobility, pedestrians, and all the way to connected autonomous vehicles, et cetera, had to get along. And in one of the, uh, one of the days, uh, a good friend of mine named Uriel, who later on became my co-founder and our CTO, he was sitting at an intersection in the middle of the night, getting red light. I mean, who is not familiar with this situation, right? And kind of was wondering how come, how come we still uh, get red light when we are by ourselves alone at the intersection? Uh, back then, he was in an executive position in a company that was acquired uh, by IBM later on uh, for $700 million. And one of the days we were kind of thinking, okay, what's the next step? Um, and we kind of figure out that with so many, such a complex environment, uh, we will need much better traffic management system uh, to enable all these uh, different types of mobility to, uh, to collaborate and to operate in synergy. Now, since none of us, uh, we, we didn't come from the traffic management space, we had to start to dive in and to learn about the domain, which was quite fascinating. Uh, traffic lights were actually one of the first automations of human behavior out there. Uh, in fact, one of the first, or the first traffic light was introduced not far away from here, next to the House of Parliaments in 1868. It was completely manual and lit by gas. Um, fast forward to 1914, the first electrical traffic light introduced up in Ohio. And about six years after, the city of New York have decided to replace 6,000 police officers with traffic lights. That saved to the city $12.5 million, which equivalent in today's terms to about $200 million annually. Now, traffic lights have been proven to be highly efficient, uh, both in terms of safety and uh, uh, road efficiency, and they widely became uh, available worldwide. Now, the funny thing is that since then, not too much have changed. We are still timing and operating traffic lights more or less in the same way, meaning that still today we're sending people to the intersection every few years. They manually count the traffic lights, uh, the, the, uh, the traffic flow, sorry, uh, creating timing plans. Later on, they go in and implement it into the traffic light controller, uh, which is kind of like the brain that's controlling the lights. And then we uh, also go in and do manual tuning because we're not feeling comfortable with the own process. Um, the majority of innovation that happened in the space mainly related to additional hardware devices that are being installed on top of the existing traffic lights, uh, such as devices for priority for public transportation or emergency vehicles, uh, CCTV cameras, etc. cetera. Uh, point is, uh, till to, uh, still today, uh, traffic lights operating based on timing plans, and it's completely an offline space. Now, there's a massive market, $68 billion, uh, growing pretty fast, and the reason is that there is massive pressure to fix traffic, to fix mobility. Um, congestion is increasing by 12% annually. Safety, I um, mean, fatality rate is increasing by 10% year over year. <clears throat> uh, transportation generates 25% of emissions, and therefore we're starting to see a lot of funding coming in. One example is the uh, US infrastructure bill that's uh, pushing $1.2 trillion uh, into the space. So obviously we saw here a massive opportunity to build something uh, uh, different and we were kind of imagining a world where we transform the traffic light to operate as a dynamic networks uh, that can streamline traffic and boost mobility. I mean how amazing will it be if we can spend half of the, uh, half of the time on the roads as drivers, if pedestrians can get priority next to school in the morning to enjoy, sa to enjoy safer environment, if accidents can be detected in real time, the first responders can be dispatched automatically to the scene and from the scene to the nearby hospital and get priority, and by, sa by that saves uh, people's life. Uh, if public transportation can get priority based on the capacity of the bus and the schedule, and, and if we can even receive the information directly from the traffic man management system to our vehicles to enjoy much safer 
uh, and, and in, uh, effective uh, driving. Now, it immediately transformed into a much more complex problem. Uh, we realized that there's no data the intersections, there's no compute power, there's no communication. Uh, in fact, in our cell phones, we have a compute power that equivalent to about 30,000 traffic light controllers. This is roughly all the traffic lights in the UK. And if that's not enough, uh, we also face major integration challenges with legacy systems that based out there since the 60s and the 70s. And we're also talking about uh, critical infrastructure, so the good enough level is, is relatively high. And that's a challenge for a tech company that run around fast. So we've harnessed the power of latest technology, uh, edge compute and AI, and we've uh, introduced to the world the first software-defined uh, infrastructure that also enable us to use a pretty innovative business model that's called hardware-enabled SaaS. In short, it allows us to have zero churn, infinite lifetime value, and the ability to upsell multi-layers of services. And after five and a half years of uh, intense development, uh, we've uh, launched our mobility platform that today consider as number one in the world. We're starting by deploying our sensors at every intersection. Um, they are equipped with built-in communication, strong compute power, and AI algorithms that have the ability to collect rich data about everything that happened in the vicinity of the intersection. <clears throat> to the operator, we are providing a mobility operating system, which basically it's a dashboard that allows them to manage the entire uh, urban environment in an online way. We also have uh, the ability to provide over-the-air support, but perhaps the coolest thing that we've developed is a mobility marketplace that allow agencies for the first time to activate many applications in a click of a button with no need to go and deploy more hardware devices. So essentially, we are completely redefining how we are managing traffic today, very similar to what Tesla have done with vehicles. Now, next, we had to figure out sales and how do we uh, uh, figure out the uh, physical deployment of our sensors. And we, therefore, we created a vast network of distributors. Uh, we are utilizing their purchasing vehicles to the public sector in order to, uh, to accelerate our sales and also to, uh, to assist us with the physical deployment meaning that the distributors going out there deploy the sensors in like two hours, and from that point on, we are operating everything remotely as a pure SaaS. And that's proven to be highly efficient because in less than two years, we already got to hundreds of uh, live customers. No traffic is currently operating in 27 states uh, in the US and also in Canada. We've been uh, granted formal approval by some of the largest states like California, Texas, Florida. Uh, Georgia and many others, and that show a, a great level of trust in our technology and our platform. But this is just the beginning. And I want you to think for a second about a world where we fully deploy, a world where we can cut accident by 30%, a world where we can save about 78 million oil bills annually, which is equivalent to 1% of the US oil consumption, or a world that each and every one of us can spend 20 minutes uh, more with our loved ones, which is equivalent to more than a year over a lifetime. And this is, this is what we do. Uh, we're not just a, te a tech company. Our mobility platform transform all these opportunities into realities, uh, making real impact on a physical space. <clears throat> and this is what the, uh, uh, the partners that work with us have to say about us. Uh, we meet their strategic goals. We, uh, uh, we provide a level of service a second to none. But the one I love the most uh, is the real impact that we make on a family unit. So since we launched in 2022, uh, we got massive world recognition. The Times selected us as one of the most influential companies around the world, alongside Moderna and Rivian and other uh, major tech uh, and amazing companies. And we've been highlighted by most of the large publications out there as the company that's revolutionizing the traffic space. Uh, growing in between 200 to 300% uh, year over year, uh, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, edge compute allows us uh, to, uh, uh, to open fast new opportunities, uh, both in terms of applications and services in the mobility space, creating a tremendous multi-billion opportunity. So we're highly excited about what we do, but not just because we are optimizing traffic flow, but because we are orchestrating the physical space itself. Thank you very much.